Yeah, hi. It's a pleasure to be here. So she already introduced me. Um, my re most recent projects in the moment are Body Forms and WhoCommerce for Body Press. Body Forms is a form builder, and WhoCommerce for Body Press brings WhoCommerce into <coughs> Body Press. Both is available in the WordPress repository. In this talk, I want to cover the different strengths of user-generated content and how you can benefit from it. From it. I believe that m many people don't understand what user-generated content really is. And uh, because I'm working with this, I decided to keep have that talk. So what is user-generated content? User-generated content is actually every, everything what your users create. It can be a blog post, a, a comment, or any upload, a review. Actually, at the moment when a user uh, reaches your site and starts giving your data, um, that is user-generated content. And um, nearly 50%, 47% of customers will read about three to five pieces of user-generated content before they think about buying your product or service. So um, user-generated content can be a really big factor of your success and of your growth strategy. Um, oh wait, that was too fast. If uh, you look at user-generated content, it actually starts, um, I'll, now I lost the point. Um, how we've, WordPress is all about democratic publishing uh, data and my question in this talk is, why is all the user-generated content often stored outside of WordPress? So for example, if you have a newsletter and you use a service for this, you store this data outside of WordPress. If you collect uh, mails or create lists, Often these informations are stored outside of WordPress and then this um, data does not belong to you and to uh, your installation. Um, User-generated content in WordPress is stored in posts and pages. If you have posts, that can be post meta, uh, comments, user and user meta. And if you use BuddyPress, that can be X-profile fields. Um, what I found out is that often we have many different user-generated content sorted all over the sites. For example, you have a WooCommerce shop, and then you have a My Account page, and you maybe have a learning courses shop, then they have another place for their courses or to set up the profile. And one great idea is to bring all the user-generated content into BuddyPress so your users have a centralized place uh, where they find all the relevant data they give to you. And, um, this can be also like, for example, product reviews from uh, Google Places. And when you create a nice profile where they find all these parts of the user-generated content, you can make them review your product or review your site. Um, then you get these stars on Google Places, for example, and that will benefit your business. But to have that, you need to make it as easy as possible for them to find that and uh, to call them to the, this action. Um, that can be lots of different things. Like I said before, you can create account pages. If you have a learning site, it can be your courses, your lessons, or the subscriptions they have, the even invoices, reviews, orders, or if you have products which need support, you can bring this into the profile and then they find all this relevant data and don't get lost on your site. Because if they get lost on your site, that is frustration. And if a user gets frustrated, he leaves your site and he not come back. And when we talk about BuddyPress, that is really interesting because BuddyPress is a social network component of WordPress. And WordPress is all about blogging, but you can't blog in BuddyPress, actually. So it is super great if you make it possible for your users to write, to m create guest posts, because these guest posts can give you a huge feedback from your customer. It, it can be a how-to documentation, a showcase, or a story, but it can be also a hub for feedback where you maybe decide, no, I don't want to publish this, but the feedback I get from there is really interesting because I can improve my existing products or the service 
or the experience the user got on my site. And that's why I think um, guest posts are super important and can be a huge motivator for your audience. Um, WordPress is all about blogging. Why? Yeah, that's what I just said. And um, we, we have created a small plugin which enables you to use uh, BuddyPress and make them outer profiles. Because lo often I hear, no, I don't want to use BuddyPress. That is like a social network, like a Facebook clone, but actually that's not true. In the moment when a user reaches your site, you start to get an interaction. You have a social communication with your user. And if you use BuddyPress, you can bring this communication to one place, to the profile, and store all the information you need in the X-Profile data, so you have them for later usage. Um, nobody wants to fill out a form in the internet. It's really hard to make people give you user-generated content. So the best is you create nice funnels that the user like to give you the data. If you have a registration form which is really long, nobody wants to enter it, so make it small, only the email address and the name, and then uh, with click on the activation link, you can ask for the password, or even after enter the password, you can ask for further information, so you have a funnel which keeps the user motivated to give you information. And when you have a learning site or a shop or something, where you need more information or they need to finish the lesson or courses, gamify this process. You can put badges in the profile and make the BuddyPress profile the home of all the user-generated content. That is actually, I think, a really important part. So, yeah, when we talk about user-generated content, we also talk about uh, GDPR because all the user-generated content actually is GDPR. But if you take it serious and use, for example, BuddyPress, just the profile component, to have a centralized place, they can find all the information they give to you. And even like external resources like the Google Places can be found in the profile and will make it super easy for them to um, manage their data. You, you should always make really clear where you um, save data. So if you have a contact form, it's different than us if they create a blog post for you or a review which maybe is located on another site. Yeah, that was a small talk. Um, thank you. Thank you. That was Short and sweet, <laughs> thank <laughs> you, <laughs> very interesting. Uh, do you have any questions from the audience? I can't really see anything there, so if you have a question from that part of the world, please shout very loudly. <laughs> Body form. Body form. Body form. Yes, there's a free version on WordPress org. Do we have another question? Yes, can you get the microphone? So it's important when we take uh, questions to have the microphone there so the people that are transcribing everything can hear it. So please give the microphones and um, don't hi. let uh, us shout stuff. Um, my question is this, body forms, it only works with body press or you can use it as a standalone plugin? No, you can use it as a standalone plugin. It's actually a form builder to create okay. user-generated content, so you can create forms for any post type and then use that forms to collect the data and you have views so users see the lists uh, of their posts and can manage, edit or delete them according to how you set that up in the rules and capability section. Thank you. Here? Oh, uh, there was... Oh, okay. <laughs> Please, <laughs> thank you. Hi. Hi. I ask you about uh, security. Yeah. Uh, what kind of role have users when it's login to my WordPress site? So normally you have like registration forms. If you create registration forms, you can set up the different rules the user has. And in the back end, you can decide which rules are allowed to view 
create or edit content. So every user ha can have different capabilities on what he is able to do and which lists he is able to see. This is a standalone uh, roles that uh, WordPress provide? WordPress ha comes with rules and capabilities yeah. and in the forms you can select the different um, rules and which capabilities you want to give. So okay. if they are able to create edit or delete. Thank you. And if you have member types, BuddyPress also comes with member types. So you can give, for example, different users, uh, different member types, but they all have the rule as vendor and are able to create products. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. And you can also, for example, in the earlier days, we used forums to give support or collect data, but then you have not much um, decision about what is public. But if you use guest post, that can be really similar, and you decide, okay, that question that is okay, it's not harming my business, I will public it, and then people can comment on it, and you have a feeling like a forum, but you have full control of the user-generated content. Thank you. Thank you for the question. More questions? We have five whole minutes for the questions, because Fen was very short, so go. Perfect. Enjoy this. So <laughs> my question is about... Uh, yeah, my question is about uh, user-generated content. It can be really good when managed properly. And the best thing about user-generated content is that you allow your users, your uh, visitors to contribute content. But uh, this can escalate quickly. Uh, like, for example, you don't want to monitor or uh, approve everything. On the other hand, when you don't do that, uh, people can start spamming your site. Is there a way to filter this automatically? Like. Without you, having you mean like moderation, so that before it goes live, you can moderate it and yeah. review? Yeah, there is a plugin also in the WordPress org repository. It's called BuddyForms Moderation, so you are able to create a workflow and even send notifications to different uh, users of your site, the admin or the moderator or the submitter. And even in the review process, you can uh, create notifications and say, please change this or that. Thank you. We have time for another question. Uh, it's yes, here yes. in the front. Can we get a mic here? Thank you. Uh, I, w I will want to know, uh, what do you think about uh, classic forum website which are using BB Press? W what do you think it will be in future? It will grow it or not? Also for me, when I start work with WordPress and start sell themes and plugins, I have a forum. And then it was really hard work for me. So most of the companies, they switched to help this, and this is like an isolated place. And I feel like blog posts or guest posts can be something in between. So you give your users the possibility to write something or ask a question, and then you can decide if this is uh, important and relevant for others and makes sense to public on your site. So it is in between of completely have a wall and decide only to use a help desk or a forum. So it's something in between, I feel. What about the future? The, sorry? What about the future? The future? The future. You mean of forums? I think they're going down less and less. Yeah, It's not so important these days. Because also the communication in a forum most of the time, people need to register there, and this starts to become slowly, um, yeah, the social networks doing this. What for before was uh, a forum is now most of the time a Facebook group or something like this. But this is an interesting point, because also, if you think about user-generated content and you write your blog posts on Facebook or somewhere, then they don't belong to you. I think we should think about WordPress as our main hub and home and first write the post in WordPress and then post it wherever you want, even the image of the media, so it belongs to you and it is your um, content and not the content of a service you are using. Thank you. Thank you, Sven. Okay. Thank, Thank you for you. being with pleasure. us. <laughs>